All right, Math 8, this is the um, help video or explanation, I'll say explanation video for transformations, okay? The transformations project is due November the 22nd, uh, 2022. Lord have mercy. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, each step is worth a certain number of points. This first step is going to be worth 20 points. You will need to draw a detailed pre-image of a picture that has at least 10 ordered pairs. Okay, so um, you could do a heart, like you can make some ordered pairs and draw 10. Make sure you have 10 ordered pairs and you can do like a heart. All right, and then if you do, let me, for each ordered pair that you that um, you graph, this would be negative uh, 6 and positive 11. You are going to write that ordered pair here, okay? You're going to write the ordered pair here, negative 6, positive 11. And you're going to label it on this paper. You're going to label this as A. So you're going to create an ordered pair. I can do a heart put 10 order pairs and it will be easy to do okay you can draw any kind of picture that you want to make sure it's of course school appropriate okay um and that's going to be your pre-image all right completely inside of uh the first quadrant mm, this right here is the first quadrant so you can put your pre-image over here i can start it right here this is 6 and 11, positive 6 and positive 11. So make sure that you put it in the first quadrant. Sorry about that. Okay? So you have, and you label each of your points. Okay? Make sure that you label. So this first point that you created would be A. The second point that you created would be B, and so on and so forth. You have to have at least 10. It's okay to have more than 10, but you have to have at least 10 order pairs that, you, that you're going to label. After you do that, that's your first, that's your first um, step. Your second step is to perform a translation. Remember, translation is to slide. So you can think of another translation, okay? You're going to slide it over to another quadrant, okay? You're going to slide it over to another quadrant, and you're going to write the, the directions. So your directions could be that I'm going to take my um, heart that I created, and I'm going to slide it into the third uh, quadrant. So maybe I'm going to go, I'm going to go down 20, and then I'm going to go to the left uh, 15 or something like that. Okay. So down 20, left 15. So that would be my direction. My directions will go here that I went down 20 and I went to the left 15 and I put it in the third quadrant. Okay. The rule to write this, I would do X, Y. I'm sorry. Okay. And my rule would be my X is left, so that's minus 15, and down is y, left, right is x, up, down is y, and my y would be minus 20. This is how I write my rule. Another way to write the rule, of course, you could do it like this, negative 15, comma, make sure I say translate in front of these, negative 15 comma negative 20. This is another way to write the rule. So I write the directions and remember I could say it like this also you because you go most time you go left right first right so you could say uh, left or 15 units left I forgot to even use units um, 15 units left and 20 units down, 
okay? And that's your direction. And this is how you write the rule for the direction. Okay, so that's your 20 points there. All right, so now you're going to uh, make sure that when you move it, if I move 21, if I fold it, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay? This is A prime. This ordered pair is negative 9 and negative 9. Okay? So here, I'm doing this translation. Uh, and it is XY. Okay? And um, it is X, what was the rule again? I forgot. X minus 15 and Y minus 20, okay? And remember, my ordered pair was positive 6 and positive 11. If I subtract 15 here, remember when I subtract, if I was to subtract 15 there, hold on, give me one minute. Okay, so if I subtract 15 here, I have 6 minus 15. 6 minus 15 is going to give me a negative 9. And I need to write A prime. And 11 minus 20 is also negative 9. Okay, so that's how... See this right here? And I grab that there, and it's true. Negative 9 down 9. Okay, and I do that with all my points. So this is A prime because this is the first transformation that I made. Okay. All right, so now um, I've done that. I've done this one. Please make sure that you graph it. Move it and graph it. Okay, so everything should be A prime, B prime, C prime, all the way to 10 points, at least 10 points, right? Okay, so step three, this is worth 20 points. Now you're going to do a, a rotation into a different quadrant. So I take, and I'm going to rotate. I'm going to do clockwise 90 degrees and put it in this quadrant. So clockwise 90 degrees, I turn my picture, and it should be at ordered pair negative, let's see, negative 9 and positive 9. It's up 9. So negative 9 and positive 9. So A prime prime is going to be negative 9, but now positive 9. And this is rotate uh, 90 degrees, CW 90 degrees. Okay? And that's how you do that one. All right, and make sure that you label it A prime prime because it's the second time that you've moved this shape, and so now the whole shape should be in here. Okay, all right, so now we write down the directions here. The directions for that is clockwise, which is to the right, clockwise 90 degrees. That's uh, turn right. And what is it? One. I should put one turn right. Okay. So this is what you write for your directions. Now your rule, let's look at it. Okay. Your rule from here to here, what changed from here to here? The X stayed the same, but the Y went from negative to positive. So the Y sign changes. Okay. So here... Your x coordinate stays the same, and the y sign changes. Okay, so then how do you write that as a rule, Ms. Reyes? You write it as this uh, rotate uh, CW 90 degrees. And that rule is going to be X, 
stays the same, and the Y sign changes. So this is the rule here. Okay, that's the rule. The X stays the same, the Y sign changes. So if the Y is positive, it's going to be a negative. If it's negative, it's going to be a positive. Okay? All right. Make sure that, you, again, that you label it. Did I label it? Yes. A prime prime. Okay? All right. Step four is 20 points. Here we go. Uh, perform a reflection. So you're going to flip it over into a different Flip it over into a different quadrant, okay? So let's, let's flip it. All right, so I am going to flip it over. Mm, let's see. Oh, man, I should have I flipped this one over here. But I'm flipping this one. Uh, I would have to flip it. Hmm. Yeah, I kind of... Didn't, it should be something in the picture, but that's okay. That's okay. I could flip it back this way. It doesn't matter. You can flip it. This object is up here. You can flip it back this way, or you can flip it this way. So you're either going to say flip it over your X uh, axis, which is flip it back down this way, or flip it over your Y. Okay? But you got to flip it into a different quadrant. We, I should have just moved this one. We should have just moved this one down here and just left it, and then rotate it, and then flipped it. But that's okay. If you don't do that, just make sure you either flip it over the X or flip it over. Well, sorry, flip it over the Y. This way is the Y, and this way is your X. So this right here will be a prime prime. So I have to make a decision. Do I want to flip it here over here? Or do I want to flip it down here? Okay, I think I may choose to flip it across the X. So if I flip it across the X, and it might help to use different colors. Hold on. All right, so it might help to use different colors, which is cool. Okay, so I'm going to flip it over the X. So if I'm flipping it over the X, this is, I see, 11 above the line. So when I flip it, it's going to be 11 below the line. So I'm going to count 11 below the line. Right here is 11. So this is going to be my new location for A. And this is A prime prime uh, prime. <laughs> it's three tick marks, okay? And it might help to put them all in different colors because, you know, that way you don't get them confused. So this ordered pair is going to be negative um, 6 and negative 11. Negative 6 and negative 11. Okay, so we got negative 6 and negative 11. We got A prime, 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 negative 6 and negative 11. And this is um, reflection. And it is um, over the x axis. Okay. And you flip all of your objects over, you flip the whole shape over the x-axis, so you should have at least 10. You should at least have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You see what a little star is? You have to have at least this many points, okay, at J. All right, you can have more, obviously. Try not to have too, too many. But you can have more um, than 10, but you have to have at least 10 where you see that little star. You have to have at least your shape should be at least 10 order pairs, okay? All right, so after you graph the reflection, the reflection directions are here. I flipped it. I reflect reflection over, and you can do a different one, over the x-axis. Don't use, use this as a guide. Don't use my actual points or my um, directions. Use your own, okay? The last step is that you're going to take your ordered pairs of the pre-image, okay? So your ordered pairs of this pre-image right here. So I go back and look at my pre-image. A was what when it started? 6, 11. So I'm going to write all of my pre-image points, okay? My scale factor here, K, 
is 3. So I'm going to take 3, the scale factor 3, and I'm going to multiply 3 times both the x and the y to get my new um, order pairs. So my new order pair here, a prime, 3 times 6 is going to give me 18. Then 3 times 11 is going to give me 33. I do not have to graph these. All I'm doing is taking my scale factor and multiplying both the x and the y coordinates of all 10 of my points or more, okay, all of my points times 3 to get my, um, to get my image, all right? And that's the whole project. All right. If you have any other questions, I can come back and make other videos. I can do one step at a time. But this is the overview. As you have questions, please make sure that you ask. Have a wonderful and blessed day. Bye, y'all.